H of the boards in the L bracket is 0.4 inches thick. Find the product of inertia with respect to the centroidal axes. Well, the first thing we have to do is find the centroid, because we don't know where that is. We need to be able to put the axis system at the centroid, wherever that should be. So, since I need to find out what the centroid is, I'm going to start by splitting my beam up into three pieces. I'll take the, the left short beam, the bottom beam, and the right tall beam. I'm going to assume that I have temporarily put the axis system here at the corner, at O. So I'm going to measure each the centroid of each of my three boards with respect to O. So the coordinate axes for the first centroid is going to be at 0.2 and 1. My bottom beam will be 0.4 plus 1.5, or 1.9 over to the right and 0.2 up. The other one is going to be 0.4 plus 3 plus 0.2, is 3.6 over and 2 up. The areas of each of them are 0.2 times 4 is point. 2 times 0.4 is 0.8, 3 times 0.4 is 1.2, and 4 times 0.4 is 1.6 inches squared. That adds up to 3.6 inches squared. Multiply it out. 0 0.16, 2.28, 5.76 gives me a sum of 8.2 for the sum of the x bar a's. Multiplying y bar times a gives me 0 0.8, 0 0.24, and 3.2. That's a sum of 4.24. So x bar is going to be 8.2 over 3.6, which is 2.2778. And y bar is 4.24 over 3.6. That's 1.1778. These are the location of the centroid as measured from O. So if I look at where that is and go ahead and plot it, I'm going to have something that looks like this point right here. That's where I now want to put my axis system. So if I come down here and I draw this, this is where x bar and y are now measured from. I've moved my axis system to make them centroidal axes. Now, once I've m replaced my axis system at the centroid, I now have centroidal axis axes and I can fill out my second chart. I'm going to have the same pieces in my composite body, each of which is symmetric. So Ixy is the centroid, the product of inertia, about the centroid of each individual piece. Since each of my pieces is symmetric, each of these is equal to zero. X bar and Y bar are the coordinates of the centroid of each piece as measured from C. So I want to know where these three spots are. That's where my X bar and Y bar come from. So I've got some 0.2 and 0.2 add up to the width there, and 1.5 comes out to here, and then I've got additionally measurements to the other side. So if I want to go from C over to the centroid of my left piece, I'm going to have to go, this is my 2.2778 to the centroid from the left corner. I want to go a little bit less than that. Minus 2.0778. I need the minus sign because this, is n this number is not going to get squared. And this axis system is defined as positive to the right. So if I go left, I need a negative sign. To get to the centroid of my middle piece, I'm going to go 2.2778 minus 1.9 is 0.37778 to five significant digits. And the other one, I'm going to actually take the whole 3.8 subtract the 2.2778 and this little bit to get my 1.3222 between C and the centroid of my third vertical rectangle. I'm going to do the same thing with the Y bars. The Y bar of that left piece is 1 up. The centroid is 1.1778 up. So this is negative 0.17778. The middle piece is only 0.2 off the bottom, so this will be not minus 0.97778. The third piece is 2 up, so this one will be positive. This is 0 0.82222, my areas I had before. So the product of inertia of each of my pieces is Ixy plus x bar, y bar, a. So if I multiply those out and add them to 0, I get those and I can add them all up, I get 2.4782. Answer the question. The product of inertia about the centroidal axes is 2.48 inches to the fourth.